Let's now talk about the derivative of function of a function. That is a function that is made up of another function. It is actually a composition. Look at this function. Y is equal to 2x squared. 2x is a function. It is inside another function. All right? This itself is a function. So when I write a function inside, it becomes a function of function. That is, the power function is carrying or is bearing an inner function of 2x. So it is a function of a function. Okay, look at this. Turn 6x. What you can see here is actually a trigonometric function. But the trigonometric function is made up of 6x, and 6x is an algebraic function. This makes it a function of a function. Look at this. This is the natural logarithm of 6x squared minus 1. This lean is a logarithmic function, and 6x squared minus 1 is an algebraic function. Now, the logarithmic function has an inner function of 6x squared minus 1, which is algebraic, and that makes it a function of a function. I can go on and on and bring examples to show you what a function of a function looks like, but let's hold it here. To differentiate a function of a function, we apply the chain rule. What now is the chain rule? dy dx is equal to dy du times du dx. We call this the chain rule. Take note. So let's go ahead and apply this chain rule to obtain the derivatives of functions. We'll start with the function y equal to cos 5x. y is equal to cos 5x. Here we have a trigonometric function and the inner function is 5x, okay? So what we'll do here is to say let u, we are making a substitution now, be equal to 5x. I will differentiate u with respect to x, which is du dx. And what would that be? Differentiate 5x to get 5. Remember the power rule. x here is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 minus 1 is 0, and x to the power of 0 is 1. So the derivative of u with respect to x is 5. Having done this, I can now say y is equal to cos, in place of 5x, I can write u, because we said let u be equal to 5x. So I'm writing u now. I will differentiate y with respect to u. The variable we have here, which is the independent variable, is u, not x. So I'm differentiating the dependent variable with respect to the word independent variable. And that's dy du. Remember we said in the previous video that the derivative of cos s is minus sine x. So the derivative of cos u is minus sine u. So, having done this, what is the next thing? I will remember the chain rule formula that says dy dx is equal to dy du times du dx. Okay, what is my dy du now? My dy du is minus sin u times, what is my du dx? It is 5. So, what is it equal to? Minus 5 sin u. But we are looking for dy dx and not dy du. My function now is a function of u. In place of u here, I'm going to write back my 5x. Therefore, dy dx is equal to minus 5 sin 5x. It doesn't matter if I put it in brackets. 
but it looks neater when it is placed in brackets. We have y equal to 3e to the power of 4x. First of all, identify, is this a function of a function? If I look at it very well, it is a function of a function. Neglect this 3, first of all. 3 is a constant, okay? I'm talking about e to the power of 4x. e is an exponential function. And the exponential function is made up of an algebraic function, 4x, which makes it a function of a function. And so, we will apply the chain rule. Let u be equal to 4x. Remember, u is always the inner function. So, differentiating u with respect to x, du dx, is 4. Differentiate 4x to get 4. I believe you know how that is gotten by now. So, y will now be equal to 3e to the power of, in place of 4x, I'm writing u. Alright? I've made y a function of u. And so, I will differentiate y with respect to u. Remember, in the previous video, we said that the derivative of e to the power of x is e to the power of x. So, the derivative of e to the power of u is still e to the power of u. Theory here is just a constant. So, if I differentiate everything here, I am still going to get 3e to the power of u. So, what's our dy dx? Going by the chain rule formula, we said it is dy du times du dx. What's dy du? We have 3e to the power of u. And du dx is equal to 4. And this is equal to 12e to the power of u. Remember, u is equal to what? 4x. And so finally, dy dx is equal to 12e to the power of in place of u, I'm writing what, 4x. And this is all. Let us find dy dx of y equal to 3x squared minus 1, all to the power of 9. I just explained earlier on that this is actually a function of a function. Because inside this um, power function, we have an algebraic function. Now, take note of this. An algebraic function must not always be the inner function before we can say that it is a function of a function. Anything can be inside this. It can be trigonometric or logarithmic or exponential, depending. But here we are dealing with algebraic function. So, y is equal to 3x squared minus 1 all to the power of 9. The substitution will be, let u be equal to the inner function. 3x squared minus 1. So, what is du dx? Differentiate 3x squared to get 6x. Differentiate minus 1 to get 0. 0 is out. So, this is our du dx. We can now say that y is equal to u to the power of 9. In place of the inner function now, we can put u. Because we just said let u be equal to 3x squared minus 1. So, we we'll differentiate y with respect to u. Differentiate u to the power of 9. That will be 9u to the power of 8. Remember the power rule. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. We are looking for dy dx. So, based on the chain rule, dy dx is equal to dy du times the u all over dx. And dy du is what? 9u to the power of 8. du dx is 6s. And so we have 9 times 6 is 54. Okay? Then 54x times u to the power of 8. And so we have to make back the substitution. Here we said let u be equal to 3x squared minus 1. So we'll put that for u now. We have 54x in brackets 3x squared minus 1 to the power of 8. 
this is the y dx of this very function that we have here. Let's find the y dx of y equal to 3 tan cube 4x. All right. This function can be written as 3 tan 4x to the third power. The cube here is actually affecting tan 4x. Take note of that. So these two are the same. And now you can see that this is a function of a function. This is the power function. And inside it, we have tan 4x. So our u will be equal to tan 4x. Now, check something very well. This tan 4x itself is a function of a function. Yes, tan is trigonometric. Inside it, we have 4x, which is algebraic. So an algebraic function inside a trigonometric function is a function of a function, right? That means we will use the chain rule to solve this also. So while we are attempting to use the chain rule for this as a whole, the inner function itself requires the same chain rule. But we won't go through the hassle of using the chain rule. Yes, just a simple standard derivative will help us to achieve it once. Remember we said for tan x, the derivative is sec squared x. Remember this. So for tan kx, the derivative will be what? k sec squared kx. It's as simple as this. So I do not need to go through the hassle of the chain rule to determine the derivative of tan 4x. Well, I can do that if I choose to. But to save time, I'll just simply apply this standard derivative. Take note of what I'm saying. Take note of what I'm doing. So to differentiate tan 4x, du dx is equal to 4 sec squared 4x. This is the derivative of tan 4x in just one step. And having done this, we have said that let u be equal to tan 4x. We can now say that y is equal to 3u to the power of 3, where u is equal to tan 4x. You get it? So if we differentiate y with respect to u, we we'll get 9u squared. Differentiate 3u cubed to get 9u squared, all right? And what does the chain rule say? dy dx is equal to dy du times du all over dx. dy du is 9u squared. du dx is what? 4 sec squared 4x. 4 sec squared 4x. All right? So remember we said that u is equal to what? tan 4x. So we can make back that substitution. Okay, 9 times 4 is 36. So I have 36. In place of u, I'm writing tan 4x. Then the sec squared 4x will follow. Sec squared. Let me put it in bracket. 4x. Good. We can just say Let's make it neater. 36 tan 4x sec squared 4x. Lastly, let's differentiate this. y equal to 2 lin 6x squared plus 3x. Right? Here, the inner function is 6x squared plus 3x. And the whole function is logarithmic because we have lean. Remember we said lean stands for natural logarithm, which is the logarithm to base E. Okay? 2 here is just a constant. Our U will be equal to 6x squared plus 3x. Now, differentiate U with respect to x. I'm using a different relation here now. U prime of x is the same thing as saying dy 
dx. What is it equal to? Differentiate 6x squared to get 12x. Differentiate 3x to get what? 3. All right? Y is now equal to 2 lean u because everything here is equal to u. So differentiate y with respect to u, which is y prime of u is equal to, 2 is a constant, so just leave it there, leave it outside. Lin u is what we are concerned with. Remember, differentiate lin x to get 1 over x. So differentiate lin u to get what? 1 all over u which is equal to what? 2 over u. Good. So we are looking for dy dx. And we we'll use the chain rule to determine dy dx. Chain rule says dy dx is equal to dy du times du dx. This is the chain rule using this other notation. Remember, there are different ways to write the derivative of a function. This is one of them I showed you earlier. Now, what is the y du? It is 2 all over u. And what is du dx? It is 12x plus 3. In brackets. Okay. Remember u is equal to 6x squared plus 3x, okay? 6x squared plus 3x, then times the 12x plus 3. So finally, our dy dx is equal to 2 times 12x plus 3 divided by 6x squared plus what? 3x. So this gives us the dy dx. Alright, this is it for chain rule. I'll see you in the next video. Keep watching, like the video and share it to your friends and to your classmates.